Assalamu alaikum. You're about to watch my patio makeover. So just to give you a bit of background, we've been in this house for about a year. We completely ignored the patio, so it's a hot mess. We had a budget of about $1,000. We spent just under that. And um, I hope this video inspires you all to kind of go around your house and find a space that you can kind of center yourself, a little slice of peace somewhere. For me, it's going to be this patio. I'm really excited with how it came out. There are a few things we want to add, like an outdoor grill. But uh, for the most part, I'm very happy with it. It's a crazy time. Um, we're staying indoors much more, as we all know. So definitely, it's important to find a little space where you can feel peace and something that you feel comfort and you can enjoy with your family. Also, just a quick update. Today, I am 26 weeks pregnant and the next video on my channel is going to be our gender reveal. So make sure you watch that one. And if you have any questions about the items that I use in the patio, if I forgot to list anything, if I forgot to mention anything, make sure that you comment below and I'll answer any of your questions. All right, let's get on with the patio. All right, so since we're still kind of in quarantine mode and we have to be home so much, I have decided to make the home a little bit more cozy and tackle my patio. So right now it's kind of a disaster. We have all these pots with different plants. The floor is not in the best condition. We kind of have this situation over here with this table. The chairs are kind of meh. Dining table. That is a hot mess. Got some plants over here. This is a little DIY rocket stove that I actually made. If you guys are interested in seeing how that is and how I made that, let me know. I can make a video about that. It works pretty good. I mostly burn sticks like this and then use the ashes for the garden. Then I have this huge drum that I just collect rainwater in. And I have this here and this is kind of what I had the plants on before but I really want to paint this because over time it has become pretty rusty and I'm probably going to paint this white and we did order um, a little bit of patio furniture from Wayfair and we're going to be buying some accessories so hopefully everything will look really nice and yeah. So, I did use a rust repellent spray on this. So, I've already sprayed it with the rust repellent before I do the white coat on it. And then, if any of you are wondering what the sound is in the background, we actually have chickens. So, we have three chickens all ladies hey ladies Got another one down there so we have uh, ginger oreo and miss Coyla under there she's kind of under the house and they all lay eggs so pretty awesome. Then we have a few raised beds. Some tomato. Some peppers. Banana. But yeah, so 
trying to focus on getting this together let me give you guys kind of like a wide shot of my backyard situation not cute and I'm trying to get this together so that we can spend more time out here because we don't get to go out much being that the world is insane at the moment okay so this is the rust inhibiting spray that I've already sprayed on this it's clear so you're not going to be able to see it but basically I did a layer of this before I start painting so that um, this will help with any rusting and so it won't be so rusty once I paint it even though the paint that I chose that is this here the white paint is also from Rust-Oleum and so this one's supposed to be ultra coverage paint and primer and it's good for wood, metal, plastic and I have used this before so it should be awesome and the next time you see this it will be white alright so this is it with one coat which is basically one can so far and I'm gonna let this dry overnight and then I'll be back tomorrow for the second coat hey guys so today is a new day we did get this um, this outdoor plant shelf painted it was blue before so we did get that painted I still kind of have to style that shelf we went to Lowe's today and picked up some flowers so we're gonna be transferring these out of the pots if you can see here there's like a bunch of individual ones so I'm gonna be transferring those into pots and styling them and then my husband picked up some grass because we do have um, a few empty patches in the grass so we're gonna fill those with this fresh grass so we have that project and then I have one more project so we have this here which has a pretty huge aloe vera tree or aloe vera plant but this here is in pretty rough shape so I'm gonna try to save it so what I'm looking to do is I'm gonna sand this and then repaint it so I'm thinking either gray or white I have both paints in the garage what color do you guys think it's better I'm thinking white so I have this project then I have to style the shelf I kind of am thinking of stenciling a design on this drum and I did get some patio furniture but I'll show you guys that later alright see you on the next one okay so I decided to go a different route with this planter so what I did was I emptied this out and then I flipped it upside down so I'm using it as a plant stand and then I went and purchased this and then I put that aloe vera plant in there and that's how it looks alright so let's get on with the reveal and then I will tell you where I got everything and if I remember I'll let you know how much I paid for everything
All right, let's talk about where I got everything. So this here is an outdoor love seat. I got this from Wayfair. The pillows I purchased from Target. This throw here I actually got for $5 at a store called Five Below here in Florida. This white planter I purchased from Home Goods. This bamboo mat we got from Amazon. So my husband actually bought this and if it was up to me, I probably would have got a fabric um, carpet, but I'm pretty happy that we got this one because I can sweep it. So I can just come out here and sweep it. I can even wipe it. So that's really convenient. We got this runner from TJ Maxx along with this table tray. From TJ Maxx and I believe I got the coasters from Ross a lot of our plants we got from Home Depot and Lowe's this one here was from Lowe's this plant stand was from TJ Maxx so this drum is actually an industrial drum so what I did was I put a mandala stencil and then I used that same spray paint and I sprayed the stencil so that I can look a little bit more decorative and not so industrial and I'll be using this to collect rainwater here's the little stove that I made with bricks so we actually built this like I mentioned before and here's a little trick so the firewood is actually on a magazine stand so this is a magazine stand that I thrifted in New York a few years ago I never really put magazines on it and then I thought it would be perfect out here so it holds the wood it's really pretty so if you're looking for something to hold wood and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, try a magazine stamp. And then this was that shelf that you saw before that was blue and we just sprayed it white. Most of these plants are from Lowe's, the flowers. And then we have some edibles so this is mint we have some Swiss chard we have some lavender and back here you can see two banana trees if you guys want a tour of um, the rest of my yard and what I have growing let me know in the comments below and this is just a little side table that I have um, with some gardening stuff and then like a hat that we use when we're gardening for some shade so that is it that is all I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did like comment subscribe this is the first time I do this kind of video if you guys like these kind of videos let me know Okay, this is my little space. This is where I come to escape all the craziness. Assalamu alaikum.